What's up guys, it's Chris here. Hope everyone's doing well. If you've not come to my YouTube channel before, welcome. So this is Chasing Tones. It's all about uh, chasing guitar tones, really. So guitars, amps, pedals, and all the associated equipment. And that's what we're gonna be quickly looking at today is the Fryat Power Station. This beautiful piece of equipment here. Uh, because I recently got a request to look at how to hook up your guitar amplifier with it so you don't sort of damage it really, which I've done before. Um, so it's really easy, I think, as a, as a beginner to, to, to do something unknowingly that can cause damage to uh, valve amplifiers. So in today's video, we're going to be checking that out. Now, I have done a video using the uh, power station as a power amp, which gives a little bit more information about the power amp then, which I'll link in the description. But um, let's get to it, guys. I'll quickly show you, show you around and see what goes where so you don't blow anything up let's get to it so uh, welcome to the back end of the Friday power station it almost feels like some sort of joke in there that's probably highly inappropriate I would probably love um, but here we go then so this is the back of the Friday power station it's really simple and really easy layout it's quite simple by by design so amp in so this is where you would take a speaker cable from your guitar amplifier and make sure that's a speaker cable, not guitar lead, uh, speaker cable from your amplifier into your amp in here. Okay, so let's say you take a eight ohm um, <clears throat> uh, speaker cable from your guitar head, which most guitar heads you can, you can pick. You can see down here we've got 16, eight and four there so i have a eight ohm cab so i would take the eight ohms out of here uh, in fact let's do that take the eight ohms here make sure it's really pushed in all the way uh, and then what we want to do is we want to go to the amp in up here oh, there we go right then so there we go so we've got eight ohms going from the guitar amplifier into the amp in. We've checked that it's a speaker cable, it's not a guitar cable, it's a speaker cable straight into there. We're gonna click on this, so we want eight ohms on here, okay? And then we're gonna say, right, we wanna go and do some rocking, we wanna hear it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a speaker out here, and we are going to then put that into our eight ohm cab, okay? So therefore we're gonna we're going to go for 8 ohms here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's try and... There we go. Can you, can you see that there? So 8 ohms. So 8 ohms there. So we've got 16 at the bottom, 8, 2 and 4. So at the moment they're both set at 8 ohms and I've got an 8 ohm load coming from the uh, guitar amplifier. Okay, so straight into there. Make sure all the connections are really tight in there. So, you know, I've had it before where, for whatever reason, they've just come out halfway and they're not, they look like they're kind of seated properly, but they're not. So make sure that they're really in there, you know, because actually you can do a lot of damage if your guitar amplifier is not connected to a load. And by that, I mean, you either want it connected to a cab or you want it connected to a load box, okay? Because it draws down the heat and it won't blow up your amplifier. If you were to connect your guitar amplifier without a load, without a cab, or without you, uh, without a load box, and you can do some serious damage. And we, we don't want to do that. There's enough issues in life without us having to blow up our favorite bits of kit. So really be careful of it. Um, I didn't know that when I first started, and I did that. I, I turned on my amplifier thinking it was all okay. And actually, I caused some damage to a transformer one of my amps so that's definitely something to be aware of okay now what's quite cool about the the fright power station is that it's it's really well thought out not only has it got an independent sort of effects loop that you can plug into here it's got a line in so i've got a, a rack preamp sometimes that i plug into this if i want a bit of a different flavor of things and use this as a power amp so this is where you would plug in your your power amp uh, sorry this is where you plug in your preamp and it doesn't need to be a speaker cable for that. A uh, normal guitar lead would, would be suffice for that. We've got a line out, uh, which is wonderful. So let's say it's 12 o'clock at night and the, just the best riff has come to you that's ever come to you in your life. And you think, well, I've just got to record that. What you can do is turn down the volume on at the front, okay? And take a line out here into your recording interface, okay? Also there's a, a, an XLR line out here and it's got a trim pot here so you can select how much uh, output you want. 
to get the, the correct levels. Okay, so it's really, really, really well thought out. This looks very moody, doesn't it? <laughs> I feel like I'm in some sort of boudoir. Um, <laughs> but I hope that's been of some help, guys. Um, if you've got any other questions around the Fright Power Station or if any other help that I can give you, I'm always open to helping others. There's, there's a lot that I don't know. There's a lot that I'm learning about. There's a lot that I've had to learn about. Um, I didn't know with um, guitar valve amps to begin with that actually you've got to have a load on them, otherwise you can blow them up. I didn't know that. I found out the hard way. So I think, you know, knowledge is power, and if I can help in any way, then, then just please let me know. I'm always open to, to trying to help my fellow guitarists out. But more than that, guys, if you got something from this, I'd really appreciate it. If you like and subscribe the video, um, that'd be really, really cool. Um, no worries if not, it's your, your choice. Um, but I shall see you in the next video.